here for a purpose. Those that have been contributing, the money that we use for the intervention that we have all been enjoying. We hope in Lagos we will assemble the taxpayers and thank them and also showcase what we have done with the tax that they have contributed. There are three nations who have invited to the event. Ghana. The Ghanaians came here in 2001, understudied our ETF, went home and established the Ghana Education Trust Fund on the model of our ETF. We have invited them. They will join us in Lagos. In 2008, the government of the Republic of Tanzania invited us. They wanted to strengthen the Tanzania Education Authority to become as strong as our ETF at that time, our TED Fund. And they wanted to benefit from our experience as one of the international best practice models. We have also invited the Tanzanians and they are arriving in Nigeria tomorrow. They will be in Lagos for the taxpayers' forum. Then, a year and a half ago, Professor Koroma came for a different program in Nigeria. And he visited us and requested us to support the Republic of Sierra Leone to establish something similar to our TED Fund. So, it's on this note that I want to especially welcome Professor David Koroma. I'm happy that we have made it to Abuja. And Lagos. I would like to start by once again welcoming you all to this occasion. Exactly two years ago, the Honorable Minister inaugurated the Technical Advisory Committee, made up of senior and distinguished academics and other professionals, with the sole intention of advising TED Fund on a new government initiative called the National Book Development Fund, domiciled in TED Fund. The idea was to support scholarly publications by Nigerian academics who are also professionals in their own fields so that the nation can complement the importation of especially books and journals by strengthening the capacity of our institutions to publish books and journals that are rightly the products of the creative imaginations of our intellectuals. Doing so means three interrelated activities. First, a new and more innovative approach to publishing through the establishment of the academic publishing centers to serve as the nation's new generation of publishing houses that will source for publishable manuscripts, assess them, publish them, market them, and pay royalties to the authors. This is the academic tradition that we are all used to. Now this will help in producing the quality textbooks and journals that we require for our institutions and relieve the authors of the burden of paying for publications or resorting to self-publication which does not help our institutions. Contracts for the APCs have been awarded in the near future, the seven centers located on the campuses of one university in each geopolitical zone and the University of Abuja for the Federal Capital Territory will be completed and put to use. The second component of the book development initiative is the publication of suitable PhD pieces submitted to Nigerian universities or on Nigeria in foreign universities into books. Similarly, good manuscripts submitted by Nigerian scholars with clear evidence of new ideas or breakthrough in all areas of scholarship will be considered and accepted for publication. So far, over 100 theses and manuscripts have been received by TAG, the Technical Advisory Group, which has suppressed them to determine their publishability and Positive recommendations have been made on some of them, subject to the revisions being carried out by the authors. The third component of the book development project is the resuscitation of journals. Many of our journals are either irregular or completely out of circulation. Government believes that 
a situation where our tertiary institutions rely more on foreign journals is unacceptable. Similarly, while our scholars rightly take pride in publishing in foreign journals and with foreign publishing houses, there must also be high quality Nigerian journals that are equally international and attractive to scholars worldwide as reputable outlets for the dissemination of knowledge as was the case before. For the journals, the idea is to start with the professional um, learned societies instead of institutional faculty departmental library journals. We believe that learned societies attract scholars in approximate discipline across our universities and are therefore better placed to provide the quality of publications that will set the standard for the institutional journals. TED Fund provided a grant of 5 million naira each to 52 professional associations to revive or strengthen their journals, including the capacity for indexing and improving their visibility on the internet, which adds to the reputation and consequently, the reputation of the journals and consequently, the reputation of Nigerian scholars and Nigerian scholarship around the world. Beyond that, Tedfan assured them that for each edition of the journal they produce, copies will be purchased and distributed to the libraries of our benefiting institutions. In this way, not only has government helped the journals to be rejuvenated, but also assured them of patronage, which will help to sustain the publications and above all, stock our libraries with current Nigerian journals. Today, the first set of journals will be presented to our institutions. The librarians of all public universities, polytechnics and colleges of education are here to collect copies for their libraries. From now on, all subsequent editions will be directly dispatched to the institutions by the professional associations so that we establish a mechanism for sustainability. As directed by government, this intervention shall be continuous. Having supported the first set of professional associations or learned societies, resulting in today's happy occasion, the second set of learned societies will receive the same support from today. Because our nation is blessed with abundant talents and organized learned societies, we could not take all of them at once. Just like the first set, today's beneficiaries range from the Nigerian Society of Pharmacognosy to the Society of Pediatric Surgeons, from the Nigerian Association of Musicologists to the Nigerian Association of Biological Anthropology, from the Association of Nigerian Geographers to the Nigerian Academy of Marketing, from the Academy of Science to the Academy of Letters. On this note, the Honorable Minister, I would like to express our gratitude to the federal government for the honor to be part of this project. Two years ago, the Honorable Minister launched the guidelines and inaugurated the Technical Advisory Group. Today, the same Honorable Minister is presenting the result of that initiative to the nation, and the Honourable Minister is also taking the second decisive step by recognizing the next batch of the professional associations. On your behalf, the Honourable Minister, permit me to thank members of TAC, and on behalf of the Board of Trustees, thank you for the opportunity to serve. Before I conclude, Honourable Minister, distinguished Senators, Honourable Members, as we all know, and as I said, as I said earlier, the source of Ted Fund's income is the 2% profit tax of companies doing business in Nigeria. Apart, as part of our continuing effort to engage with all the stakeholders, align with the transformation agenda, 
I am happy to announce that the Board of Trustees has concluded arrangements to interact with the taxpayers, both in order to thank them and to showcase how we have used the tax they have dutifully paid in the transformation of the nation's education system. Accordingly, I wish to invite all our distinguished participants here present and those who may be listening on the live coverage on the Nigerian Television Authority that you are invited to the Taxpayers Forum.